Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the edit place and sorry you don't see my face, don't have the camera set up because this is more of a impromptu video, but I thought it'd be interesting to show you what the aftermath of uh, creating videos looks like. And what I mean by that is, you know, there can be kind of files everywhere on your computer. Sometimes you download things, assets to your downloads for that you don't really need anymore. You got to transfer uh, raw files to a more long-term position and as well as clean up your computer running uh, background checks and things like that. So I just want to kind of show you what it looks like after I finish a bunch of videos. So I essentially have four hard drives uh, plugged into my computer at all times. Of course, I have the internal one, which is where my desktop downloads, all that stuff is. That one is the small 256 internal uh, hard drive that came on the Mac and you can see I only have 25 gigs available so that's not super great and it's actually going down because I'm uh, recording the screen recording and then I have my initial focus server this is my big 55 or so terabyte uh, Drobo these are all traditional HDDs so good for archiving decent with speed but definitely not as good as a solid state or an NVMe so I added this 2 terabyte NVMe into my Mac Pro. This is where I put all my working files. Uh, so when I'm currently working on a project, all the files are in here. And then I have uh, my AngelBird 1 terabyte. This is primarily oh, downloading this beta. So if you want videos on that, <laughs> popped up. Uh, and then the AngelBird 1 terabyte. Uh, currently I had this because I was actually traveling with it, but normally I use it for uh, cache. So this is another really fast SSD. But first thing I'm going to do is I always have two finder windows pulled up. And what I'm going to do is on this one, keep the two terabyte open. And then this one, I'm going to open my server. And right now I'm going to be looking at uh, YouTube stuff. So go into here. We're in June. And I started doing this file structure where I didn't I I was always creating so many files within files within files and I found it kind of easier to where if I just create a month worth of content all my channels so apps every day the edit place main channel I'm not making a crazy amount to where if I just make a month's folder uh, you know it's still relatively easy to find a project in here so I just create something for a month and I kind of just dump everything into here so uh, I'm going to go into the edit place here, and I'm done with this. So I can move that one over. And we're going to see things transfer up here. And I'm actually still working on this, so I'm going to leave that in place. Once I see it transferred, I can move over. And by the way, uh, I know someone's probably going to talk about backups and stuff if one of these drives were to fail. Of course, I'm a Backblaze fan, so everything is backed up offline to Backblaze. So if any of these drives were to fail or corrupt, I still have everything backed up. Uh, let's go to Apps Every Day. Don't need any of this anymore because I already finished all that. So I'm actually going to delete it. Finished videos. Nothing new. Uploaded. We did this. Now since there is a ton of stuff in here, I do have a Apps Every Day for the month. I'm going to select all, drop that all in here. Now, a lot of times, if this is going to take many minutes, like we'll start to see when I move my main channel stuff over, I'm not just going to sit around and wait for it. But because I don't want to forget to come back and truly empty this folder, since this is only taking, you know, 30 seconds or so, uh, I usually just wait and, for it to finish. And then I can see everything transfer over. And then once it's all done... I will go ahead and empty it. Boom, everything's transferred. Commercial work, actually, I believe uh, I have one more thing to do on that, so I'm gonna leave it there. This is a big one. I've been working on this forever. That is 1.25 terabytes. If you haven't seen that video on my main channel, I'll leave it linked down in the description below. But yeah, as you can see, this is gonna take a hot minute um, so actually for the sake of this video, I'm going to cancel it and I'll do that afterwards, but pretend that I transferred it over. Um, and then yeah, everything out of here would be, uh, transferred. And then let's see, what is this random file? I don't have anything on my desktop. So, okay. So that was 
promo material for the Pocket 6K. And it looks like I already did copy it over. So it's a duplicate. See, it's good to clean up because it, this is, it's kind of like doing the dishes. If you wait until you're, you know, stockpiled up, it takes a lot more time to where if you do it after every project or every couple of days or at least once a week, then you are cleaning up a lot less. Our downloads folder, I need all that for now. That's pretty clean. Okay, so once we have all of our, um, you know, files and everything set up here, now I'm going to open up Clean My Mac, which is one of my favorite pieces of software ever. And so now I'm just going to run a quick scan. This is kind of going to do a quick overall uh, for everything. So in its cleanup, it found 32 gigs. I can review details. The most of it is basically the trash. And then it's also going to run security checks. So obviously when I'm downloading stuff off the internet for assets for videos, it's just going to make sure that you know, nothing has been installed, any malware, viruses, what have you. And the more you run this, the less amount of time it usually takes. Again, it's been a couple weeks since I've ran this, but still wasn't too long, about a minute or two. All right, and then it's got three tests run. So if I hit run, now freeing up RAM, I've noticed depends how much RAM you have. If you don't have a crazy amount, then this doesn't take very long. Uh, but since I have over 160 gigs of RAM, this part usually takes a couple minutes. All right, and it all finished here, and you can see that it's got check marks on everything. Again, if you haven't ran this utility in a while, it's going to recommend that you run a deep scan uh, for protection. Again, this is going to really check pretty much every single file and subfolder in your entire computer to check for malware, viruses, etc. But I'm not going to do that right now just for the sake of time. There's a couple other things in here that I think are very useful for things like, um, you know, anyone in our line of business. The first one's going to be maintenance. And this is a huge one, free purgeable space. So a lot of times when you're dealing with huge files, especially if you work with them on your desktop or downloads and you have iCloud Drive turned on, I've noticed that sometimes files will try to upload to iCloud Drive. And then even if you delete them or remove them, off the desktop and put them on like a hard drive, they'll kind of sit in this limbo space where the files will be off the computer, but it won't give you the available space back. And uh, the same goes for other hard drives as well. So the nice thing is this will free up any purgeable space on all hard drives plugged into the uh, computer. And so that's really nice to run. And then if there's multiple of here, you can select multiple and it will run it at the same time. But for now, I'm just going to run the purgeable space. And sometimes you may get nothing back. Sometimes you may get a couple gigs or sometimes it's literally hundreds of gigs that I've seen uh, just kind of pull back up. And not sure if you noticed down here in the downloads, but it gave about five gigs back here. So that's pretty cool. Now, the other one is the space lens. This is extremely helpful for if you are trying to clean up space. For example, on my Drobo, if I go into the dashboard and I go to capacity, uh, I can see how much I have in here. So I got 44 terabytes total, taking up 36 and a little over seven remaining, but I can't see actual files. And so what I love about space lens is of course you can look at your internal drive but you can also choose any drive that's plugged into the computer as well. And so if I hit scan here, it does it incredibly fast. Uh, again, considering that this is 45 terabytes worth of data. All right, so for some reason, my server wouldn't load everything. Super weird. But anyway, this is what Space Lens looks like when doing the built-in 256. Basically, it just gives you kind of a bird's eye view of all of your folders and files. And the bigger the folder and file, the bigger the circle over here and the higher up uh, on the list over here. So it makes it extremely easy to find the files that are taking up the most space. So I can click on either one of these in the list or the circle over here. And again, I'm just basically going to keep diving into these circles to find the culprits for larger stuff. So I can see, oh, this is taking up 25 gigs. And if you can't click anymore, depending on the file type, like this is a uh, Final Cut library, you can't double click in here. I can right click and hit reveal in Finder. It will open up a Finder window where it's in there. I can hit show package contents. 
and then I can search around to find culprit. So 360 and good old render files are always the culprit here. High quality media, so I can erase this. Now it won't auto update in here. I would have to rescan in order for this number to change. So you can do that or you can just leave it. You also can add if there is something in here you want to delete. If I want to get rid of this whole TV folder, I can just select here. And you can basically go throughout and select a bunch of stuff. And you'll see the grand total down here and hit remove. And it will securely remove every folder that uh, you've selected. But yeah, this tool is crazy helpful. You can also check out large and old files. And yeah, there's definitely a lot more tools in here. Clean my Mac, I'll leave it down in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, but those are kind of the top couple that I use every couple days. And now I've pretty much freed up a ton of space. And again, I'm going to run computer updates, Drobo updates, make sure everything's up to date and ready for the next project. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you 